and I had rain on the brain because I know it's coming our way. Elise Finch is here now with your exclusive CBS2 forecast. It was pretty okay for the yeah, parade, but things I are I know. We did have changing. some clouds. We had a pretty nice day, but then uh, just recently the rain started to roll in. So let's go ahead and take a look, see what that's doing to our temperatures. We'll check in with some of our weather watchers. It's still incredibly mild in some locations. This is Kathy. She's in New Milford. She says it's 77 degrees where she is, but certainly cloudy. As we head uh, down into parts of New Jersey, this is Anthony. He's in Plainsboro Township. He says it's 83 degrees where he is, so still incredibly mild. But we do have some slightly cooler air and also some rain that is falling. This is Bob in Berryville. He says it's 69 degrees, and yeah, he's got that rain. So let's go ahead and take a live look outside, see what we're dealing with. Yeah, so you can see it right there. There go the clouds. And of course, some people, as I mentioned, already seeing that rain. We'll get to that in a second. First up, though, cloudy skies, 72 degrees, winds out of the south southeast at 8 miles per hour. We do have some scattered storms moving through the area. Some of them are severe. We'll talk about that. Uh, things remain unsettled for tomorrow. Some are like feel as far as temperatures are concerned, but then we do get a cool down. So take a look. Here's where we have severe thunderstorm warnings. Hunter and Morris, Somerset, Sussex, and Warren counties in New Jersey until 7 p.m. Quarter sized hail. That's what's uh, possible with these storms. Winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. Uh, the system is near Newton and it's moving about southeast at 30 miles per hour. We also have some flood advisories into an effect until 9 p.m. Morris, Sussex, Warren, that's you. Flood advisory until 9 p.m. So here's the cell. These are the ones that we're concerned with. Again, near Newton moving southeast at about 30 miles per hour. So this is what we're talking about. It is weakening as it moves, but of course, still the lightning strikes, the brief but torrential rains, still capable of producing hail and of course some very, very damaging winds. So we zoom in. You can see all anytime we see those colors, we've got that red, that hot pink, you know that we're talking about some strong storms. As we broaden out and show you the big picture, you can see, yeah, quite a bit. We've got a line of showers and thunderstorms from Pennsylvania uh, back to the southwest. So we're talking about a significant system. We turn on the future cast and you can see we're still in these storms at about 9 o'clock tonight. You take a look, still a possibility for some unsettled weather at 2 a.m. We go through the day on your Sunday and yeah, some more showers potentially and a few more cells. So for tonight, some scattered storms. Some of them will be strong, severe. We, of course, will keep you posted 65 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, AIDS walk, the 30th annual AIDS walk. We're talking uh, 74 degrees when teams line up in Central Park at 10 a.m., including the CBS team. Tomorrow, the high on the day, 83 degrees. It definitely feels like summer, but again, a little bit unsettled, so still some passing showers out there. And here is a look at your seven-day forecast. 83 for tomorrow, 70 for your Monday, 73 still unsettled for Tuesday. Wednesday, looking beautiful, 70 degrees, lots of sunshine, and then the end of the week is looking a little drier and a little more stable than the beginning of the week. All right, people will be happy with the cooler temperatures. I think so. Those who love it. All right, thanks, Elise. <laughs>